What's going on people, it's Greg with another Excel VBA tutorial video. Today we'll be going over how to delete rows based on cell values in multiple columns. So let's get into it. Alright, so on the left, got my VBA editor. On the right, I've got a data set of countries. And what we want to do is delete rows based on certain criteria that appears in multiple columns, not just one. So the sub, we'll go ahead and call it um, delete rows based on multiple columns. That's a long one. Let's go ahead and declare our variables. So we'll do a row count as long. We'll also have I as long. And then we'll do a WS as a worksheet. And let's go ahead and set WS equal to this workbook, sheets. And then we want the sheet name. The sheet name is countries. All right. So now, in case uh, you're, active, you're accessing this macro from like a different sheet, you'll want to go ahead and activate this sheet first before we count the rows so you don't run into any issues. So we'll activate the sheet and then we'll do our row count. And we'll do WS. And then we want sales rows.count comma and we're going to count in column A and what we're going to do is count from the bottom up so XL up and then row so that'll give us our row count and then we will set I equal to 2 because the data that we're, we care about starts in um, row 2 we want to ignore the headers and we'll do we'll use a do while loop so do while I is less than and equal to row count. And then we'll end our loop there. And inside of the loop, we'll set our um, criteria. So let's say if cells I, since we're moving down the rows, our next comma, so then our next parameter is going to be the distance. So to the right. So let's look for um, if cells I, and let's go to column F. So is that six? So F is a six letter alphabet. So I six, if that equals blank, then we'll delete the entire row. But we wanna also look for other columns. So we can do an underscore, go to the next line, and we're gonna say or cells let's say j what is this seven eight nine ten so it'll be i ten is equal to blank and then let's do something else so let's say or if let's go with e so that's going to be the five so i five is greater than 10,000 if any of those conditions are true then that particular row set by I because as we're moving through the loop I will iterate and continue to increase and we'll reach the bottom so if any of these conditions are true in these particular columns we'll delete that entire row so we want to do entire row dot delete and then something that we're going to run into is that we're going to need to subtract I because when we delete when you delete a row that moves your rows up so you want to be able to do say for instance row six over again so we're going to have to do I equals I minus one and we're also need to going to need to lower our count so count is going to equal to our row count will equal row count minus one. That way we don't get caught up um, with our code and it'll continue to run smoothly. So let's end our if. And then we will have to also increase i by one when we get out of the loop. 
All right, so let's watch this run. And you see all those blanks got deleted and also any um, values in column E that are above 10,000 got removed as well. Um, so let me give you an example of when, of why we need to add these two here, these two lines here. So say we have three blanks, right? And we don't subtract i. Well, what's going to happen is one of those blanks is going to get skipped. So we're going to have to subtract i when that happens in order to prevent that. So now if I do three blanks again, they'll all get removed. You see that? So you can also change this and do or. I mean, from or to and. So you want all conditions to be true. So say like, let's change. So let, let's say... Um, Let's make this work. So we'll do a blank here in column six or F, and then also 10, which is J. We'll do a blank here, and then we will make this above 10,000. I don't know what this is. Let's get rid of that. Sorry about that. All right. So we expect this row to get deleted because all three of these are true. See that? Cool. Um, so yeah, that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Have a good one.